Hi, thanks for joining me today. This is Robert Galarowitz. And if you have stages one, two, or three kidney disease, you want to avoid aspirin. Now, this is coming from the book, Brenner and Rector's The Kidney. So if you go to medical school and you want to become a nephrologist, this is one of the books they're going to give you. And it's updated every two years. I always get the new editions to see what information's in there. And it specifically talks in that book that if you have stages one, two, or three kidney disease, you definitely should be avoiding aspirin. Why? Because they found that it creates more kidney damage and speeds up kidney disease. Now, they said in stages four and five, it didn't seem to matter, but we'd want to take that one step further. Um, because if it's going to harm stages one, two, or three, probably it's going to ha harm stages four or five. The reason I don't think they saw a benefit in the studies that they did was because when you have stages four or five, a lot of time there's a rapid progression of kidney disease. So it was hard to distinguish if aspirin really had a big effect. But with that aside, we know for a fact that stages one, two, or three kidney disease, you should be avoiding aspirin. And I find this interesting because a lot of doctors will put their, uh, their patients with kidney disease on aspirin. Now, in, a, in some medical conditions, it may outweigh the risk to the benefit, but in most people with kidney disease, they shouldn't be taking it. So if you are, question your doctor, see if it's really necessary because you're just creating more kidney damage. This is Robert Galarowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, creator and author of the All Natural Kidney Health and Kidney Function Restoration Program. And if you visit my website, I have a video of over seven ways to help better your kidney health at HealKidneyDisease.com. That's www.HealKidneyDisease.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.